One way Nintendo can add variety to the fighters in the next Super Smash Bros. game would be to include character-specific costumes. From the beginning, we've always had palette swaps, which are adjustments to the basic colors of the clothes, hair, or skin, but a costume would be an entirely new 3D model with the same basic structure and moveset as the original model. Costumes are fun because they add an even deeper flexibility to the process of picking a character that represents the personal flair of the player. In a way, previous installments have danced around the idea of costumes, but the full potential has yet to be explored. Since the first game, Pikachu and Jigglypuff have both had colored accessories rather than traditional palette swaps. In Melee, Mario shows up on the roster twice, one as Dr. Mario. And finally, in Brawl, players were given the first and only official alternate costume with Wario. But Nintendo has a rich library filled with characters that have alternate forms, power-ups, and extensive wardrobes. It's bewildering that such a basic concept has not been explored in a game that is generally thought to be a celebration of Nintendo's history and canon. This is by no means a new idea. Fans have been hacking Super Smash Bros. Brawl for a while now and adding their own costumes through editing pre-existing textures, and they have come up with some pretty unique ideas. If the fans are doing it, why can't the developers? I'd like to see an official expansion on the presentation of individual characters through the use of pre-rendered costumes, much like we see in many modern fighting games such as Street Fighter 4, Tekken 6, and Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Costumes add a variety to the visuals, and it's another outlet for fan service in a series that, for all intents and purposes, is built on the very idea. If we do get costumes in the next game, palette swaps would still be welcome and necessary. However, I would like to propose an alternative to the preset color arrangements. I say Nintendo should allow custom palette swaps by giving the player the ability to adjust the hue, saturation, and brightness of each layer, similar to features in other modern fighting games, such as the new King of Fighters. That's it for this installment of Super Smash Bros. Source. Stay tuned for more, or check the description for links. And keep watching to see some costume ideas for existing characters.